the Directorate of the Marine Engineering Training, DMET, commenced operations on the 10th of August 1949 in the temporary facilities of Bori Bandar in Bombay and Gorakchand Road in Park Circus, Calcutta, with a total intake of 50 students, 20 at Bombay and 30 at Calcutta. Under Ministry of Shipping, Government of India, the Institute finally moved to new facilities in Taratala Road and Lower Parel in 1953. The new building in Calcutta was formally inaugurated as the Marine Engineering College on December 14, 1953 by the then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. Students had to undergo training at the marine workshops during the day and attend classes at night for the first three years of the program. The fourth year was devoted fully to classroom instruction at Calcutta. In August 1958, the intake was increased to 60 students and to 100 in the subsequent year. In 1962, an All India Entrance Examination was introduced to streamline the standard of the incoming class. The successful incorporation of changes in course curriculum led to the recognition of the graduation certificate of the four-year course at DMET as being equivalent to a first-class degree in marine engineering by the Government of India. The Institution of Engineers India also started recognizing DMET graduates as graduate engineers with a right to be called a chartered engineer. The Directorate of Marine Engineering Training, DMET, is now known as the Marine Engineering and Research Institute in Mary. It was renamed in 1994. On the 6th of June 2002, the Government of India formed Indian Institute of Maritime Studies, IIMS, and placed the four government-owned maritime institutes, LBS Kamsa Mumbai, T.S. Chanaki and Navi Mumbai, Mary Calcutta, and Mary Mumbai under the domain of IIMS Mumbai. On the 14th of November 2008, the Government of India formed Indian Maritime University under the Indian Maritime University Act 2008. Mary offers a four year bachelor's degree program in marine engineering, for which Admissions are made through the highly prestigious Joint Entrance Examination, IIT JEE, -E, conducted by IITs to select the best 280 out of the country. There are 120 seats available in TS Chanaki and Navi Mumbai, 208 in Mary Calcutta, and 40 in Mary Mumbai. Out of these, 10 seats are reserved for foreign nationals. The institute has been headed by some of India's most respected marine engineers. All of them hold the extra first-class engineer's qualification, which is the highest qualification that marine engineers can aspire to. The 33-acre Murray campus at New Alipore, Calcutta is a fully residential institute with hostel facilities for 600 cadets, both men and women. The standard of paramilitary type of discipline is maintained in this institution. The ISO 9001 certified Mary has a large workshop with adequate machinery, equipment and steam and diesel power plants with state-of-the-art laboratories. These include mechanical, hydraulic, heat, electronic, electrical, control, boiler, computer, MAPOL, firefighting, simulation and seamanship laboratories for training and to meet IMO and AICTE requirements. In addition, students also visit marine workshops for on-job training. The institute has a large full-fledged technical library and is well stocked with books, journals, videos, periodicals, etc. With this kind of rigorous and professional training, it's not a wonder that students of DMET develop a reputation for being the world's finest marine engineers. It is no coincidence that almost every major shipping company in the world has at least one DMETN 
in its onshore management personnel or floating staff. Many of the world's largest vessels are manned by these Indian marine engineers. The star of DMET graduates has continued to rise as they build up a formidable reputation for quality engineering skills. Many DMET graduates go on to found marine engineering workshops, successful companies, maritime training institutes, develop surveying standards and of late make the transition to the new economy by pursuing successful careers in management. The DMET alumni has got several chapters worldwide. The students, apart from shipping, are also well established in avenues such as administrative services, management, entrepreneurship, etc. As a close-knit community, they communicate, meet and share their feelings like a family. The family gatherings, picnics and sports meets become regular meeting places. Today, DMET embodies discipline, dedication, an integrity of the highest order in the maritime field, with around 6,000 floating ambassadors of the country sailing all over the globe. The active website www.22knots.com works as a daily link of DMETNs as an informative online portal. After more than 50 years since her inception, the Marine Engineering and Research Institute, Mary, is regarded as one of the most acclaimed marine institutes in the world. This prestigious institute is all set to celebrate its 60th year. The Diamond Jubilee Year celebrations of the Mary is ongoing and the closing ceremony was held on the 14th of December 2009, which was a global grand gathering of DMETNs and celebrity delegates. Ex-cadets and well wishers have decided to celebrate the Diamond Jubilee Year of DMET Mary to promote the institution further in the service of the nation and of the world at large. India and its shipping industry is growing day by day. As the best human resource provider, every mariner of this country contributes to a lot towards it. A perfect DMETN is defined as dynamic, mentor, enthusiastic and tactful with a tough interior and soft exterior. DMETNs can be found everywhere. Shipping companies, shipbuilding yards around the world, classification societies, Indian, UK, Australian, Singaporean maritime administrations, Fortune 500 companies, corporate giants, maritime education, maritime consultancy, banking and finance sector, including the World Bank, IT consultancy, etc., to name a few. It won't be an exaggeration to say that DMETNs are up there rubbing shoulders with IIT. No doubt, the entire maritime community is proud of DMET alumni. The prayers are up and DMET has got showers of blessings to continue its journey with thousands of hard steps.